In this video, we look at other standard methods of a solution. You need to be aware of the following standard methods which are commonly used when programming. Totaling, counting, finding maximum minimum average values, searching using a linear list, and sorting using a bubble sort. We've covered linear search and bubble sort in more detail in our own videos. So we're going to look at the first three on that list now. Totaling refers to maintaining a total that values are added to. There are many situations where you might want to use a total in your programs. For example, keeping a running total of the marks that have been awarded to a student during a test. So here in the pseudocode, we can see it's always good practice to initialize variables. So we're going to start by setting total to zero. Then inside our for loop, this is the line that's actually performing the totaling by adding together the marks which are held in the array called students test. Keeping count of the number of times a given action is performed, such as the number of times you iterate through a loop, is another very common action performed in programs. For example, counting up the number of students that have been awarded a pass mark in a test. So here again, we can see our good practice. We've initialized our passed count variable to start at zero. Here inside our loop, we can see that if the student current being looked at has a mark greater than 50, then we need to update our count. And we do that by saying the value currently held in pass count is going to become the value held in pass count plus one, effectively counting up. It's also possible to count down as well as count up. And there are many reasons why you might want to do this. For example, keeping track of how much stock is left and knowing when to put in a new order. Being able to find the largest and smallest values in a data set is another common technique used in algorithms. For example, finding the highest and lowest marks awarded to students in a class. So here we've started by initializing the maximum mark to the lowest possible mark and the minimum mark to the highest possible mark. We check the current value in the student mark array and see if it is higher than the value currently stored in maximum mark or lower than the value currently stored in minimum mark. If either of these statements are true, then we replace the maximum or minimum mark currently stored with the new ones as appropriate. If the largest and smallest values were not known, we could use a slightly alternative method where we set the maximum and minimum values to the very first item in the list and then update as appropriate. Following on from the totaling method we looked at earlier, it's also very common to calculate the average or mean of a set of values. For example, what was the average mark a student achieved in a test? Here we see the same code as earlier, where we're totaling up the number of marks student has in a test. Once we exit the loop, we calculate the average from the total. The pseudocode in these videos follows the exact style which will be used in your exams. The full set of pseudocode is defined in the syllabus, which can be downloaded from the website.